He he has probably had one of the better. Yeah, like, I'm gonna talk about it later. Or. I, I was surprised they had a white boy in a, in a dunk contest. Did they who? Uh, Pat Connington. Who? Patrick Connington. There's no way in no, hell someone he, he even dressed like uh. uh, uh Luke now? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> he dressed like uh. Woody Harrelson. Woody, Woody Harrelson and uh, white man. Oh, that's jump. fly. It was fly. <clears throat> I mean, white man can't jump. Did you you watch that movie before? Yeah. All right. You know why? Because it has the word white. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why are you making me racist? We're not making it's black you racist. History month. You need to watch a black movie every day for the you rest should, of the yeah, month. Actually, that, that's your assignment. No. What do you mean no? <laughs> you got to watch Bad Boys 3. Why? I heard it was that good. It's black. So what? It's kind of whitewashed, though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new... What, what? What type of like lens cover is that? To make it like rectangle? No, just make sure no rain or anything goes in it. Oh, this dude gets money. Mm-hmm. Best so cameraman in the league. This is a, what league? Uh, the International NP- Podcast <laughs> League. Uh, the NPL? <laughs> National. I guess, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna go with dinner. National Photographers League, but whatever. No, no, he's not even ranked in that one. Damn. <laughs> Is there a league for photographers and shit? I don't know. Or like a commission or a group or some shit? Super Bowl for photography? <laughs> You gotta sit there and come up with which bullshit is better. Uh, is that the one that was like Safari or something? And then you gotta go around and take pictures of them, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Snap. And then every blockbuster had the you bring the cartridge. Yeah, I remember you that. Print your yeah. pictures out and shit. Yeah. What the fuck was Hey You Pikachu about? <laughs> Some gay shit. I don't know. Hold you. I'm tr- it's like it's like you know like uh, Tamagotchis and shit like that. Yeah. Neopets and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pikachu is a Neopet? Pretty much. You just take care of that motherfucker and talk to him. Oh. <laughs> Your was good, Pikachu. They need to make a hood remix. Was good, Pikachu? Was good, Pikachu? It's Black History Month. Boom. Should be my nigga, Pikachu. Then. <laughs> <laughs> they should what? just nigga put nigga in like mad titles of movies and shit like that. That won't go well. <laughs> Well, you can't say it, but yeah, yeah. it'd be what you, you they want. You want to put it in like white movies? Yeah. What's How? a white movie? I don't Titanic? know. Titanic, The I Notebook. <laughs> the Notebook is pretty yeah. white. I don't know. I don't really consider. I don't know. I don't. It's not a lot of Hispanic movies. Now that I think about it. What? Spy Kids. Coco. That's a Hispanic. Oh shit, they were Hispanic. They they were white. Oh, Coco. Coco. That's right. There we go. Selena, nigga. All right. Zorro. No, fine. It's like five. There's a ton of them. Nah, not a ton. I, I I'm almost Brothers certain. Brothers Garcia, the movie. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all remember <laughs> the Brothers Garcia? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> nah. Well, you never seen the Brothers Garcia? It was on Nickelodeon. It was like it this sounds group of familiar, like three brothers. Taino yeah. nigga. <laughs> oh God. Not from Army, bro. She never became a star. That's sad. No. <laughs> she tried so hard to be a star and got canceled. We never seen her again. She was the original uh, Instagrammer. Oh God. Really? You Garcia? seen that show? Oh my God. That's right. I don't oh, remember. I don't remember what like it was about, but what brothers Garcia? Yeah. Just a Mexican family ch- eating tacos every day for dinner. And, wow. No, I'm dead wow. ass. I'm dead ass. He's not wrong. I'm not wrong honest. about that. They dead ass ate tacos. It was like regular, like Chimmy. It was like three brothers and one sister, and then, and then a mother and a, and a father. Um, and they just go to school and shit. And they get their ass beat every time. And it'd just be regular problems. It was like the oldest brother, was some skinny nigga. Then it was the, the middle brother was a fat one. one. Then it was a, the 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 youngest, and then it was a sister. Huh. 
Mm-hmm. We're recording, by the way. Oh, shit. I figured. That's our Brothers Garcia intro. Was there a theme song? I don't remember. I remember George Lopez was low rider. He was in the show? No, no, no. In, in the George Lopez show. Uh, oh, that. Well, yeah, that, obviously. Wow. Here's an upset for you. Penn Bagley from you was in that show, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. As who? Penn Bagley. His name was. I thought it was Bagley. His name was Eddie Bauer, like the brand. The no, f- he was. He, 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 was, the the brand, he was the brand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Vanessa Hudgens, too? Really? That's she was a little sister. No, she wasn't. <laughs> VOT. <laughs> I was say, nah, did I? <laughs> Damn, that's bad bitches in the show. Shit. Yeah. What? Wait. <laughs> like that, like that. I was say, what screenshot <laughs> you looking at? Because they were like fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I know you looking like some old clips and shit. <laughs> <clears throat> that's funny. Tanya Raimondi. Yeah, fuck this brother's gonna yeah. say shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Neapolitan Ice Cream Podcast. It's your boys, the Brothers Garcia. Ew. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah, it's Christian, Joe, and Will. Back at it again. Mm-hmm. What's cracking? Chilling, I mean. I'm out here. Yeah, where? Here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where is here? Here? Elsewhere other than there. It's not there, but it's here. Facts. Aki. See. Oof. We up there. I'm trying to keep up the Brothers Garcia. Yeah, name. no. <laughs> <laughs> Do this whole episode in Spanish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was mad disrespectful for this month. You're supposed to be talking in black. Facts. <laughs> Facts, B. I'm not going to partake in that. <laughs> Before I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you can be black without saying nigga. Really? Yeah. Hey, can I be black? I think that's like the bigger one. Yeah, we yeah. talked about it last episode. You dip your dick in chocolate. That's just... Just, just dip my dick in chocolate, boom, I'm black. I don't know. Is that how it works? No. <laughs> 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 Anyways, did you catch uh, any of the All Star shit so far? I did. I did some of it. Was I, it enjoyable? Was it entertaining? Oh, the dunk contest was. I was saying low key. I think I could compete in the skills competition. He I, was saying that. I, I'm over the All Star. The whole shit though. Yeah. Like they they put too much of like a show on at the dunk. Con- it's not like about the dunks really anymore. Is everyone. It's well. Uh, it's. Dwight Howard's a cornball. Damn. He's mean? been corny for a long he's time. He's fucking though. corny. That whole Superman shit is over. He's not yeah. nice anymore. No, he's you not. Can't, you can't get a nickname like that Yeah. if you're not good. And then, I don't know, he, his dunk was ass. <laughs> all someone did was throw the ball over the backboard to him and he dunked it. That's all he did. And he put a cape on. Big fucking whoop. Yeah, I remember, like that for like the past couple. Uh, he started the bullshit. They, it's the, like the little antics that lead up to it. Yeah. They make it look like it's. They so make it cool, seem like it's like, harder to do it with the fucking antics. No. I put a cape on. Oh shit. Oh, I switched to my throwback, throwback uniform. jersey. So now. <laughs> and then because they dunk over a celebrity that's like five foot eight, it's like a big thing. Like I get the Taco Fall one was like mm-hmm. OD, but dunking over Chance the Rapper. Because it's Chance the Rapper. All right, but that wasn't a regular jump over Chance the Rapper. He uh, still the like, dunk was OD. That was a crazy dunk. Fine, still, but I'm just saying, like, there's, there's not, I'm, I'm just using that as an example. There's a no. ton. Ju- uh, Pat Connaughton jumped over fucking Christian Yelich. Like, really? I don't know who that is. He's a baseball, baseball player. player for the Brewers. Yeah. Huh. Um, but yeah, like, what's his name? Pat Covington. Pat Connaughton. Yeah, there's no way. Pat I didn't coming. know you can dunk. <laughs> I didn't know you could dunk. He, he he was on Notre Dame for like. I thought he was a uh, shooter. I thought so too. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Fuck that shit. The fucking 
celebrity game was corny and cringy. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought should. that would have been cool. Nah, it's, it's, it, the whole All Star Weekend. Do any All like for example, there's a hockey one. There is a hockey one. Yeah, the football one. Yeah. yeah. No one gives a fuck about the football. They all suck, though, right? Uh, the baseball is probably the best yeah, one. Really? Yeah, for sure. When and how does it work? Well, there's the home run derby. It's, okay. it's which in is, the middle of the season. Which is Most pretty of, good. So the, the weird thing is, like, all of them <clears> are usually in the middle, of the, close to the middle of the season, except football. Football does it at the end of the season. Mm-hmm. Probably because they don't want anyone getting hurt. Mm-hmm. But no one gives a fuck about the football one. No. No one really gives a fuck during the basketball one. Like, they don't play D. They don't really. Yeah, that's why I don't care for it. And that's why I don't. Only... I don't know why the players feel tight when they're not voted in. Like y'all feel snug. This is mad disrespectful, but it's like this isn't a pointless game. It's their chance to network and build the brand name for themselves. I'm just. It's acknowledgement. I, I get it, but it's the fans, them. right? It's a fan vote, right? Some yeah. people are also super competitive. Yeah, but that's you're super competitive, but that's not a competitive game. But just competitive just, to be rec- competition to be recognized. I mean, the, the stats are there. Like for example, when Lillard got snubbed and how Devin Booker felt, they like they were tight. Like yo, I put up X amount of points. I'm not voted in. We're gonna watch the, the games today. Who would they take it. out? Uh, Lillard got hurt. Out no, I know. I no, I know. I meant like who would have they taken out had Lillard not been hurt? Like what? What was his gripe? What do you mean? Like who? Who does he feel like? He should have called someone out. He's like, I, I'm better than that motherfucker. I think I would like that. <clears throat> I'll make it more entertaining. Like I think, or they got I think Chris Middleton or, is there. Middleton's having a good year, but that's on the East. Beal's having a better year, right or wrong? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> is it all fan voters? Does players get a no, vote? It's, it's it's fan it's mostly fan vote. It's like percentage off no, of fan, no, fans for only starters vote for the starters. That's yeah, it. and oh, the coaches okay. pick the reserves. My whole thing with that is you could probably just spam vote whoever you want. I mean, that's literally what fans. Yeah. But they only get a percentage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember one time. Uh, there was one point where they had they the fans did decide. Zaza, Zaza Pachulia. What is Zaza Pachulia? One foreign player had his whole country vote for him. That's lit. So he was like top ten. That's uh, funny. They they once they once gave the fans the entire power to vote for the starters and that shit like. It was terrible. Didn't they vote uh, like a hurt player? Wasn't mm-hmm. Kobe hurt and he still was the number I think one? It was like Allen player. Iverson the, when he was on the Nuggets. <laughs> yeah. <It happened> Melo <laughs> was injured. Oh, uh, I remember that. When it was in New York. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. he still voted him in the play. He was injured and yeah. he still played. I respected that, though. The thi- So with baseball, why well, I think it's the best one, and it's because it counts for something. Really? No, it doesn't anymore. It doesn't determine home field? No. What does it determine now? Nothing, because oh, people so then, complained about it. Fuck that, then. Yeah, but they still actually try. They still actually, like, they still throw 95 miles an hour in the all strike. Like, they actually really... I think now it's for, like, for there's a huge more... There's, like, a lot more money at stake. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Like for the winning team. I fucked with it when they would determine home field. They did change the rules for this year's NBA contest. Like, every quarter refreshes until the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. That's this, this that's interesting. I think they even switched the three point contest. They they, they added, added that like an fucking extra Mountain Dew ball or what something. What the fuck? Like, I don't. I, know. I don't. I don't. I don't even, I, Mountain Dew just spent a amount of money, so I can't get yeah. in on this. This shit is like it's just corny to mm-hmm. me. This is like mad cringy and corny. Mm-hmm. Just watching all this shit. Yeah, like no. the celebrity game was trash. Like that shit was garbage. Yeah. The home run derby in baseball. That's gotten better. I that's gotten that. better. If they added new formats for it, and they have people constant. It's like a constantly pause swing off. So, <laughs> like, instead of them sitting, taking pitches and shit like that, yeah, it's timed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but uh, no, they do it good. But I'm over the basketball one completely. Football is the worst. No one watches that. Yeah, shit. no. And the hockey. Football. Yeah, really I've football never seen hockey. hockey shit. Yeah, that's nothing. It's it's also it's pretty just as bad as NASCAR has one too. The line. That'd be wild. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> <laughs> the same regular, regular <laughs> shit that they do every time. That shit is trash. <laughs> How you watch that shit? I don't know. I don't know. Isn't it? Is it the Daytona 500 now? Yeah. Imagine, you know how bars have like their sports teams? Imagine they had their nice car. Like, they do. They're in, in the I've South, they do. It. Oh, I'm talking about here. Oh, hell, oh, you don't no. see that shit here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you look outside of a bar, they have like a flag of a race car number for like a certain driver. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, what if they started doing that? 
I wouldn't be shocked if it's already out. I'd be shocked. Like, what if I'm sure there's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. bar somewhere. Is he still racing now? I think no, he actually think just so. retired, but... Question, do the women race as rich with the men's? Yeah. Hmm. There's a bad one. Danica? No, there's no, a new uh, one. Haley Deegan? Word? She's fire. Fire. Sounds white as fuck. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we're talking about here. Are there only white people in there? Like, is there anything else? There was it a Hispanic. It is 99% white yeah, sport yeah. is that a is it a sport fire. fire oh you know what who was the spanish it. helio castro right? he's he's the he's a indy car racer oh indy There's car a, is indy, indy car has a lot more especially the best like, the best driver is yeah. black uh he's um he's not indy car he's Formula One. Formula One, yeah. I don't know the difference. Uh, but... Daniel, uh, something Hamilton, uh, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's cute. Um, but, but uh, IndyCar has a bunch of like more co- like Europeans and shit. Uh, it's Juan Pablo Montoya, I think. Is oh, the... whatever. I thought he was a golf player. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen a video. Really <laughs> Take a crapshoot. Ecuador <laughs> kids raise llamas. That who? Kids race llamas. Race them? Yeah, they get on that motherfucker and start racing with each other. <laughs> that shit is fire. This one ESPN? It should be. The Ocho. I, ra- I, would, <laughs> I would rather watch that than NASCAR. I would too. Deadass. Like. And there's this other shit I came across on YouTube called Marvel Racing. Motherfucker that, Marvels uh, be racing. That shit crazy. How do you put skill into that? It's not about skills, about like... I mean, passion, determination. Physics. It's about not mean. <laughs> Physics and shit. Like the, the marble weighs this much and go at this speed and this velocity and down this ramp and go this much f- further and faster. Like, don't. Isn't there unfair advantages to how you design your marbles? Is there unfair advantage on how these cars are designed differently than each other? I somewhat. I, I question that too. So yeah, but. Right, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's racing. weird that they don't have all use the same car. Uh, yeah, and I, I feel like that would ultimately determine how good of a driver you are. Right. So. You all had to drive with no steering wheel. <laughs> That'd be wild. Look, my no hands. <laughs> uh. Imagine like a little Flintstone racing. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'll do good at that? No. At Flintstone <laughs> racing? No, I'm slow. What? <laughs> You just gotta get a head start. Are, are you just gonna? Are you gonna say something because I look like fucking Fred Flintstone or something I didn't like even that? Say that <laughs> you since we're here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it. You ever thought about being here for Halloween? No. Uh, really? That's never crossed your mind. No. Uh, seems like a layup. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a beard. Neither did you a couple years ago. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Thanks. This dude Kanye dressed up as Dino. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny as shit, bro. <laughs> that was dumb funny. Uh, all right. What do we have to talk about? <laughs> We're just completely... It was bullshit. <laughs> Whoa. <good. Yeah. laughs> With like 30 minutes? Yeah. Nah, not that long. <laughs> nah, uh, I was online and uh, I think we sent it in the group chat. There was that video of this dude smacking the shit out of uh, this lady yeah. on the plane because yeah. she reclined her seat. Yeah. Justin, you saw that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I saw that there was it's a debate about who is wrong in this situation. Definitely her. Why? Reclining all the way back like that? It's not legal. Why would they make it? To recline all the way that far back if it's illegal. They fucked up. But she should know better. <laughs> if the nigga's pushing you, you should know, like, yo, you're wilding. No. I feel like you could put the recliner back all as far as possible. That's so totally if you, fine. If you have your seat right here. So you recline you back should, too. And, and your shit leans all the way his back chair, here so the, into his personal space. You think that's fine? It, well, first of all, the airplane should only make it to where it's not completely should, violating. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Her shit was not all the way back, her sh- though. Her, sh- her shit wasn't all the way back? No, it wasn't, like, on top oh, of the so motherfucker. Then, so then... And then you could always recline back yourself, too. His seat couldn't recline. He was in the back. 
Well, it sucks to suck. <laughs> I totally feel like it's fine to recline all the way back. Um, so do you not care when a person behind you is just like... No, because... I don't. Okay. Because you can recline back too until the person in all the way in the back can't recline and again, sucks to suck. So if you were in that back seat and somebody like recline back and you're trying to like use the tray. You could use the tray with it all the way back. It's uncomfortable. Uh eh, I make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, nigga. You don't? You can't you you'd you'd be bothered if someone's all the way back? Would I be bothered? Yeah. Would would you do something about it? I'd probably like, yo, can you like fix your shit up at least for a little bit of time so I can, you know what I mean? Use the tray, eat, focus, lock in. I don't know. I feel like you could still do it. You have thoughts? I do. I feel like you can recline. Uh, if so, if like it's bothering the person and they tell you something, like it's up to you to really. Determine if you want to change that shit. Mm -hmm. But, like, I thought what the dude was doing, he was just pushing, like, my biggest pet peeve is people pushing my yeah. the back of my seat. Okay, yeah. So I would have cracked him over the dome. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, But, I I mean, I don't really recline, to be honest. But I do. Yeah, I don't really either. But I can see why. Like, it's that personal space. Like, you're just passing that barrier when you OD with it. But, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't consider it ODing if, if the plane allows... Yeah, if, that's if the, the whole thing. If the plane allows you to recline that far back, I don't think it's OD. Hey, nigga, we disagree. Right. You ever had the middle seat? Yeah. Yeah. Who... So, in the middle seat, are you entitled to both armrests? I would... I would give as a courtesy, yes. I would give it to the middle seat. I think so. Yeah, I agree too. Some people will fight the middle seat person for that. Some people are fucking stuck up assholes. People that fly, like some of the worst people, are assholes on a plane. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've seen the worst people on the plane. <laughs> fucking uh, the 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 people that will constantly try to call the the. The uh, attendance mm -hmm. for bullshit. What's I, bullshit? I've, I've been fortunate not to been next to that person. Like, oh, it's cold. <laughs> Twist the fucking thing yeah. off. Like, <laughs> the worst people are the niggas who take their or the bitches who take their socks off, feet. They like take their whole shit off. I take my shoes off. People take their whole <laughs> shoes and socks off just being that motherfucker. That's bitch, disgusting. Right? And like, they I, walk I, around like that. Yeah. Oh no, nah, you yeah. can't. Oh, Have nah. you ever? Yes, seen the page. Uh, Pass, uh, passenger shaming It's an Instagram page mm -hmm. I think you sent it yeah Wild motherfuckers Motherfuckers drawing their underwear Oh that was nasty I saw that Motherfuckers That's be disgusting. Like it'd be couples Like riding each other On that shit Like what the fuck it, What <laughs> <laughs> Bitches with their whole feet up And like yo what? I've seen people clip their toenails That's on plane. nasty That's disgusting that, I would kill them Yeah Why Why couldn't you do that before I hate when people like, clip their to their nails In public Not at home Basically, there's yeah. people at work at my job that do that shit. Oh no, nah. right. they're disgusting. You know what I hate when motherfuckers brush their teeth and like. Oh my like god, I don't know happen. how you can. There's <laughs> like a. Uh, it's, sometimes it smells like you're walking in an asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it just smells terrible, and that air is all over. You know. That air does travel though. And you're gonna fucking sit there and brush your teeth while someone's taking a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is ripping out fucking <laughs> their Chipotle in, in, two feet away from you and you're brushing your teeth. Yeah, I don't know. That's nasty. You don't feel like that gas will just like hit your mouth. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Shit is nasty. I always get freaked out over the people that like bathe in the sink. Where? I've seen it in like public and like like malls and shit like that where people are they like take like the rat. No, they'll like they'll like completely like wash up their whole shit with like soap you know their homeless? face. They don't look homeless. You're right. I don't know for a fact, but they don't look homeless. I'm pretty sure there's a situation if they have to use the sink to do that. The homeless people, I guess I get it. I still hate it, but I get it. Like I, I, I sometimes have to do that at the crib because like I mean I live in a project and sometimes the the, the shower don't work. 
They turned the water off. Uh, Niggas got to boil water. You know what I mean, bird bath, I had to that do bitch. that. Yeah, I've never had to do that. Yeah, you never had like the hot water You've out. Never no. been black. <laughs> Are you living in a house your whole life? <laughs> 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 yeah, the projects. Yeah, it's random out there. I, but you're it's still at home though. You're not in public. I know. I feel you. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> like you, you don't public. know. You don't know what's going on. Like for example, like you do whatever the fuck you want at home in your sink. I don't really I feel care. You, like, what if like they have a long day ahead of them? They cut the water off. What in if he building? was about to get some pussy? What if they cut the water up? off in his building? What, where is he know, supposed just to bathe? About you bathing in the sink in public is just. It's not like his ass is. Is he out. butt naked? Yeah. No. Oh. Know, it's not butt naked, but like. He got like his whole kit out and everything. His kid? Kit. Oh. Kit. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wild. That'd be nasty. Um, Talking so, about, if a guy has like a, a daughter, a baby, and he, the daughter has to go to a public bathroom, does he go in there with her? Usually they bring her in the men's room. Hmm. Right. I can never understand how people can fuck on an airplane in the bathroom. It's so I tight. can barely walk in yeah, yeah. there to pee or shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there hitting the fucking yeah. wall and the shit. <laughs> Man, you get the turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you just fly in That's so I, one time you hit a G spot. <laughs> <laughs> I crazy. like to. Who has the fucking balls to do that, too? What? Because I, like I feel like there's always a line at the bathroom at, on an airplane. Hmm, I don't know. Not always, but no. I feel yeah, but I feel like you get if two people walk in there, you get an attention. I guess you, you don't do give a fuck. Low. What? You can do it on the low. Yeah, maybe yeah, people are like a, it's a long flight. People are sleeping. I, I and haven't shit. taken like an airplane that was like not that crowded recently. All of my flights have been packed for the most. Sometimes part. when I fly to DC, they're empty. Really? Do you, like 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 six people empty? Yeah, oh, I had one like that. Six. Yeah. I've had one like that's a California one, a red eye one time. Yeah, because uh, the the DC shuttle for Delta is every hour. Oh uh, yeah, so, I guess I could see that. Like, like that you can really pull it off. Yeah, it's a quick fuck too. You're only in the air for like forty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the stewardess and that would be lit. Someone be fire. Somebody <laughs> out yeah. be fire. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Looking fine as fuck. The thing is, they'd be on the heels. Uh, they'd be wearing heels, too, sometimes. Yeah. On, that's time. wild. Mm. <laughs> You're wearing heels on a fucking airplane? What's wrong with that? That must be that uncomfortable. Heels they're, they're, seem uncomfortable, period, to me. Yeah. Their job seems so fucking annoying. Really? Like, having to just be nice to all these stupid fucks on a plane. For, like... And you're standing basically, and you, being, sounds like working. Sounds like any service. customer service job. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like people on airplanes are just naturally grumpier. Like if they miss their flight, you lose your bag. The, the airplane, like the stewardesses and the people that work at the airport, usually get the worst of it. I feel you. People people have high anxiety on airplanes, so I guess that's what, probably why you're in a pressurized metal can that's flying thirty thousand feet in yep. the air. And you have to sit in a confined space. <laughs> God forbid you fly spirit. You don't have no leg room. See, that's the thing. It, well, I never, I never got I'm, on that. Yeah, don't. Oh, please don't. You did. Don't. That's yeah. not worth it. I keep, I, never, I keep I've looking never at the. Heard nothing good about. Especially them. going like Florida because they, they like it's like the 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 Florida Airlines, which kind of makes sense. Really? Now when you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I keep looking because it's so cheap. It's a first of all, it's like phony too because they yep. charge for carry on. They yeah. charge for everything. Yeah. So it's like bullshit, but like, cause it's so it, like enticing, cause it's such a cheap flight, and I don't really give a fuck about a two-hour flight and whatnot. But I'll never do it again. <laughs> you know how to worry about reclining seats, so nobody yeah. reclining in front yep. of you. Yeah, it doesn't recline. No, no, they they, it's purposely pra- made... they practically make you stand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this fucking shit is like a cardboard box you're sitting on. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what was your bad experience with them? It was just a, the most uncomfortable flight. Then I didn't. Then we uh, we ended up having to pay. At we didn't. The we didn't realize that they charge you for carry ons. Yeah. They charge you for. It's cheaper to check your bag in than, than it to is, bring a carry on. Yeah. How much it goes for a carry on? Uh, it depends. On the it was flight. like thirty dollars or forty yeah. bucks. Yeah. And they don't tell you that before. Yeah. You. you have to look it up beforehand online. 
then the the wait the line to check in and shit was super long. They don't give any snacks, no no drink. You gotta pay for all that shit. Yep. Uh, and then like yeah, like my I felt like my knees were immediately like posted up against the seat in front of me. Yeah. It was awful. <clears throat> I'll never do it again ever. Right. <laughs> More bad news for Flyers. Uh, they recently banned porn. Oh, damn. On flights. Oh, I don't know yeah. if I can fly again. <laughs> Crushing for anyone. Uh, Who went to bus and hot 30,000 feet in the air and shit. Yeah, Does that count as joining the Mile High Club? No. Yeah. I feel like that's only if you fuck. You fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but... From that standpoint, I guess fine, but I, I wouldn't consider it. It's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that, though. Talk about being bold. Fucking rubbing one out on a plane. Let's just shoot up and hit the... Oh. <laughs> 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 you mean tell you hit a puck? Like, oh, that shit that make shit you shoot squirt, it? <laughs> that shit shoot, like, forward and, like, hit uh, someone. Oh, nah. Hit the pilot. Like, what the fuck <laughs> Someone like four rows in front of you. I'm not gonna lie, God forbid, but if I'm the pilot, I'm crashing that shit. It's so <laughs> he fucked it up it's with everybody. Else. What kind of shot do you have to fucking shoot to get the pilot? <laughs> well, first of all, they have the closed door anyway. You That's a strong pilot. nut you just that shot. Just <laughs> penetrates through the fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm offing everybody on the Son, flight. how tight would you be if you're just chilling on a plane and all of a sudden you feel like something like wet just hit the back <laughs> of your neck? <laughs> <laughs> you just go, what the fuck is that? Yeah, everybody's getting killed. I'm crashing that shit. Crazy. <laughs> Do you know uh, Elvis Crespo? Yeah. The suavemente dude. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. He uh he got caught jerking off on a plane. How'd they catch him? Uh, he was not hiding it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> suavemente, the singer dude? Yeah. Yeah. This nigga's wild. <laughs> yeah. Was he on a private jet? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what made him just wild out like that? Is yeah, he likes the horny. chick? Yeah. Oh, the stewardess bitch? No, it was some chicks <laughs> next to him. Whoa! <laughs> he just whips sick. her shit out. Yeah, he yeah. said he put the uh, uh, blanket over it, but he wasn't really like keeping it on the low. He so said you could just see it. Like... Just. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga jerking off to her just regular sitting down next to him is yeah, crazy. Wild. Like he couldn't even like spit some game at her. <laughs> he has a whole song. That he exactly. He probably could have just fucked her anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a couple. There's a, a handful of people who be doing that shit. Why though. would you like Pee Wee Herman did it in yeah. a movie theater? Then I thought he did it in a porn place. A porno movie theater. Yeah, isn't that allowed? I don't know. I don't know. It I should be. Not. What the... F- what? Hell no. Nah. Masturbation. Public masturbation in a porno theater. If I'm going to a porn theater, what do you think I'm doing? If there's seats next to That's you... That's kind of true. Why, why would you... you just going to attend to watch the movie? It's for them critiques that we talked about last week. We're trying to, you know, rate these shits. Oh, he ain't worshiping her ass the right way. Nah, but if I'm going to a porno movie theater, I'm jerking off. I won't go to. How's this shit? So <laughs> Are there seats next to we? Like what? And the cup holder is like, facing each other. The cup holder has like a bottle of fucking lotion. That'd be sick. <laughs> like That's probably tish- be the, the nastiest. Tissues are like, the tissues mm. are like built. The tissue box is like built into the armrest. Yeah, that'd be nasty. You could probably get it all crazy at like the eye pick or some shit like yeah. that. <laughs> they give you a blanket and all that. Yeah. yeah. Reclining seats. Yeah. I'm having sex in one of those. Where in Alfred? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the one in South Street Seaport. Yeah, that shit is nice. You been? No, you said it was. They had the fire. big seats and yeah. they had like like bring you food and stuff. Yeah, if you order it, <laughs> not no free food. <laughs> you get your whiskeys and shit like. Did that. you order a pussy? Mm-mm. You gotta order your, your pussy third third party. Third party. Yeah, yeah, bring that shit with you. That'd be wild. You bring your pocket pussy with you. <laughs> You, would you bring it? No. <laughs> I wouldn't do that shit. You would leave yours at home? I don't have one. Oh, uh, liar. <laughs> what, you've seen my pocket pussy? It's over there. Yeah, where? In the go, sink. go grab it. <laughs> I mean, in the fridge. Go gra- you would grab it? <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the sink. Oh, I mean the fridge. What you the fuck? You cleaned it and put it in the fridge, nigga. What? You fuck a cold pocket <laughs> pussy? 
It's supposed to I can put your shit in the microwave. It hit different. <laughs> Get frostbite. Oh, nah. That'd be wild. That coochie cold. That should probably give you like, the shiver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in more uh, current events. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just done with airport <laughs> airline shit. Right. Yeah. Uh, did y'all see that video of the stripper falling in Atlanta? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that video was devastating. Yo, I don't know how she didn't die. That yeah. shit looked crazy. I also don't I know how she started twerking right after. I think after. she was in shock. She had Probably. to be in shock. Yeah. I seen, I seen a, a little girl get ran over by a truck. Like she was racing with her sisters. She slipped on her sweatpants. And a Jeep just ran. Not a truck. A Jeep ran her over. And she got up. Ran to the street. It's like... Her sister was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then she, after that is when she finally fell. Because, like, she was in shock. And, you know, adrenaline kicked in. She didn't know she was hurt yet. She didn't even know she got hit yet. That's wild. Yeah, so it just it didn't hit her. Till after. Like, even I, when I got hit by a car, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I didn't even know I got hit. That's how fast the shit happened. And I didn't start feeling it until I got upstairs to the crib. Like, yo, I think I gotta go to the hospital. I don't know you got hit by a car. Yeah. Didn't you say that on the podcast? Mm-mm. I don't think so. It was like some hit run by some old lady. She peeled off like a motherfucker. Damn. Damn. That bitch was gone. I almost missed graduation. That shit was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I was, um, the shock, the shock just kicks in. So you don't even know you hurt. She fell hard. Because you, you, nigga, there was music playing in the background. And that shit said, boom. I'm like, oh. And then she started twerking. She, you know what? That, that's like the wrestlers that used to come down the shit. Yeah. yeah. Like Sting. <laughs> That's Owen Hart, he fell off. That's the how shit. he died, right? And he got up though. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rest in peace to him. But he kept you coming off the top. Nigga fell. Boom. Landed on the ring. Got up. Fell right back down because that shit don't hit in. You know. Not you anymore. would think the ring at least has some like fucking that? traction. Yeah. Nah. Not that much. Uh. That shit is still wood. It's not like a. It's not a strip club stage. That shit is hard as fucking. Ooh. Yeah, that shit's it. But I'm, I'm like, oh, I still bounce. Damn, I felt mad bad for her. Until, <laughs> until <laughs> she was able to raise $25,000 in a in like day. In a, in a, less than like an hour. <laughs> yeah, in medical expenses. I mean, I feel bad because she does need to get surgery yeah, and stuff. She, yeah, she did because she ended up cracking her teeth, frac- breaking her jaw, fucking up some ribs. and stuff. Yeah. Like, damn. You know, I felt bad. Like, damn, she's really hurt. Hopefully, she gets well soon. But then I'm like, just like that, so many people were able to, like, get her all the money that she needed. Who knows if that's how much it even costs, but I'm like, in a, in a day. She didn't look that bad after, afterward. Like, she, like, her face was mm-hmm. fucked up a little bit, but it, it could have been much worse. Mm-hmm. She could have been dead. Yeah. Yeah. She hit her fucking head. Yeah. yeah. On the floor. Yeah. Strippers don't get uh, medical insurance? Nope. I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. Uh, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I doubt it. They got a union. I feel like, I feel like strippers are like freelancers. Oh. Uh, well, you have to like pay to be there. Yeah, probably. And then you got to split what you make. I still feel like it's pretty much off the books, too. I don't think it's taxed. They usually get paid uh, are, out. Are they paid in cash? That's what, yeah. Probably. I imagine. I imagine, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's probably why as well. Hmm. <laughs> I sure can't go on a resume. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, I watch Hustlers, right? Not mm-hmm. yet. No. Uh, that was it. Was I actually watched it on the flight back from London? It was actually way better than I thought it would be. Yeah. But yeah, that's what they said in Hustlers. Basically, you got to pay to be there. You got no benefits. Clubs fuck you over. I think the stripper's much. rough. I figured as much. Yeah. I feel like you'd become. Still kinda hating, though. <laughs> I am too. Because of the GoFundMe. Hell yeah. Yeah. That I mean, easy. I mean, do you hate? Man, woman do you hate everything that's on yeah, GoFundMe then? Because she actually needed the money for medical things. I feel you, I feel you. Like, do you just hate GoFundMe in general? No, well, I, no hate, I know. I hate just... how easy it is for women to get that helping hand. Not even a helping hand. You get money. You think? You think if a man fell and got hurt, Slow. he'd have any success on that? No, no. we won't see him again. That <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> no. definitely not. It's a wrap for him. Now we know we need to get this podcast popping. What? A gender a swap, nigga? What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, one of us got a... Uh, oh, no, we need a girl. Cause you have... A gender swap? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I thought I thought you were about to say a stripper, but <laughs> <laughs> true uh, that too. <laughs> yeah. Some shit, shit bouncing right on my table. <laughs> You imagine just, we just con- we, you think we just sit a there and concentrate? A stripper would be nice. A That'd little be mid- funny. a midget stripper. You can't call them midgets. I could call them whatever the fuck I want to call them. They're dwarves. Ooh. Aren't there? Isn't there a difference between a dwarf and a midget? Yeah, and they're not midgets. How do you know they're not a midget? Google it. What? Google what? Difference between a midget and a dwarf. All right. Can we? We can't say midget anymore. It's a, it's a disrespectful word. Why? You gotta ask a midget. Y'all know any? Nah. I know some dwarfs, though. What? No, while well, he's looking it up. I remember one time. Between a midget and a mosquito. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is like, oh my God. That was the first Google search that popped up? <laughs> I remember one time I walked by a bar, and I looked through the window. I was about to go in there. I looked in the window. I only see this guy have a, a little tiny person on his shoulder just swinging around. He just twirling around in a circle. I'm like, yo, they wilding in there. We out? He's like, nah, that's The main difference crazy. between a midget and a dwarf is that a midget has normal bodily proportions. What? Since the term midget is considered offensive, the term little person can be used to refer to a midget or a dwarf. There you go. To me, little person sounds worse than that. I would say so, too. You know, hey, you're just they, a little you, that's, person. <laughs> that's their word. Yeah, you're Whatever. looking from the outside in. They yeah. telling you from the inside out. That's inside, bro. Okay, so they have the similar bodily proportions. Uh, they are um, normal bodily proportion. Like the like dwarf position. Dwarfs are, is an unusually small person, less than fifty eight inches tall, with <laughs> abnormal bodily proportions. Dwarfism. So I guess if you have like a big ass torso with like little ass legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? <are> you... <laughs> I, I don't want to sound mean. You're laughing, so you're already mean. No, no, no. Say it. Get it. Sounds like you're describing a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. You know, that's like nuggets. Is that oh, like? Can we, why can't we call them nuggets? No, because that's a term for like little people with uh, missing limbs. Oh. oh. Don't laugh. <laughs> why are you smiling then? Because I already know. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, I knew it already. Damn. That's You're trying wild. to hold it in so That's bad. That's wild. This thing does would look like a chicken nugget. Damn. Oh. That's not the real term, is it? You got? You can you can dictionary it all you want. I learned about that through porn. I'm like, oh nah. <laughs> you watched the porn of a what? I was watching midget porn one time, and then that was one of the shits in Q, and I'm like, oh nah. One of that. the shits in Q. Yeah, you know the play next shit. Yeah, or the related shit. Yeah. Were you one. watching a midget fuck another midget, or were you just nah, watching a, bra- a regular man? I've never man. seen. Have you ever seen a porno of a midget fucking another midget? Yeah, I just told you I was watching that shit. <laughs> I you were saying I think you said a regular man. Oh, yeah, a that's regular what I'm man. I, yeah. I did see one. I did see one with two midgets. That shit was weird. I'm like, oh. I can't do this shit. But uh. <laughs> yeah, I can't look at that. <laughs> I can't look at that. <laughs> nah, to me that's is that like child porn. Nah, it's not child porn, but like it doesn't get me off. It's a sick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if that if that's like child porn, could you do sex with a midget? There's some fire midgets. Yeah, there are. Are some... I don't know, but seeing two of them fuck is just weird. But why is it why is it not like child porn if you fuck a midget? Because I don't want to go to jail. Why would you go to jail for <laughs> fucking a midget? I don't know. Just I don't know what the, the rules the, are. The motherfucking midget can be older than you. Oh, you're right. Well, you can't go I don't know. Jail. I don't know. I probably would fuck one, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got here. <laughs> uh, should we? We should probably just start a GoFundMe then. Go fund the podcast for a for strip what? for a stripper midget. One of y'all got to jump off uh, like that fire escape over there and like break your leg. No, I'm good. No. No, I'd rather just start a GoFundMe first. Like, we already uh, established no men's is getting no free money like that. You yeah. gotta be a woman. I'm yeah. trying to think if. Uh... Wait, so do they are, are are they donating to this woman out of sympathy? Do they just feel bad for her? Yeah. So you gotta think if we make people feel bad for us, they'll donate for us specifically. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. Like so, random, like so, our family and friends, so you, maybe, but random people. One, no. You gotta be a, a pretty woman. Two, you gotta make them feel bad for you. Three, you gotta start a GoFundMe. Little little kids get uh, 
Four, you gotta shake your ass a little bit. Oh, okay. Like when little kids get sick and they do GoFundMe's, those are successful. Like people pay money for little kids. That yeah, are like it's hard sick. to hate on little kids. What if you f- if you fake the GoFundMe for something? Could you get in trouble for it? Or no? I don't. Think I don't so. think so. It's not no, a for example. Like, no. what if her bill was only like five hundred dollars? Yeah. Because she already had health insurance. Honestly, if it was, I I applaud her. I respect the it's hustle. Come up, right? That's OD finesse. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. No. Because like, what if you like said, especially probably people are more sympathetic towards animals. So what if you said like you had a sick dog? Oh, no, I people, think, I don't pe- think they care about the animals. People, oh, really? uh, to donate money, like uh, nah, maybe not, like thirty thousand dollars for a dog. Nah, that, that, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess. What? What? Nah, I don't see that happening. It's a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. But they definitely, there's definitely people that make up shit and do GoFundMe's and try to get. Some of them get caught. Yeah. GoFundMe will take them down and just. Right, erase it all. So I'm really, sure GoFundMe takes a, a percentage of that shit, right? I believe. So. I'd have to, yeah. yeah. They'd probably. So, what a business. Yeah. <laughs> Make money off people sending other people money. That's banks. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yeah. 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 Venmo, cash app, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. That reminds me, um, buskers and and panhandlers, they 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 have uh Venmos and shit now. It's pretty interesting. Fuck. Yeah. And then usually you could always finesse me. Oh, I don't got any cash on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here goes cool. I remember someone took out the square reader shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You did it. You seen that? Yeah. Oh shit. He's like, oh, I got the square. I'm like, oh, nope. <laughs> Amanda tap. <laughs> he just he just smacked the shit. Oh, I'd and then Amanda set this shit to like fifty dollars. So you just bloop, deposited fifty dollars to that motherfucker. Oh hell no! I'd kill him. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, that's fucked up. 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 Yeah, and he had a car and a house and everything. And he would, like, dress up bummy and just go out and get money. And then some lady, like, found him, like, in his, like, real life. And she was like, wait, what the fuck? I've been giving you money for, like, the past three years. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Cause when you think about it, like if you go on a train, you'll probably see a thousand people. Probably like five thousand people a day. If you do that for like a whole day, you probably see like five thousand people a day. If you ask them for one dollar each, out of those five thousand, maybe a hundred will give you a dollar. You made a hundred dollars mm-hmm. in a day at least. You do that shit over and over. You imagine some motherfucker gives you a Untaxed? five? Oh yeah. yeah. Bro. A mm-hmm. ten? Oof. <laughs> A sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the motherfuckers with the sandwiches with, in the little rolly carts in a while. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah, but I used to see them all the time. I think I only see them in the summer, if I'm being honest. Would you ever eat that sandwich? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? i never seen so much, Like, One of the worst things I hate when it comes to the train is... How people don't understand the common concept of if it's you're on a crowded chain and you're standing next to the door, get off the motherfucker so you can let niggas out. Niggas would just stand there in front of the door and just like stare at you. Hate them. <laughs> like yeah. they hate them. Let there be a homeless person on that motherfucker. Everybody's quick to get off the motherfucking yeah. train immediately because his scent. Yeah. Yeah. We're just like, Ugh. fuck you up. You know what's crazy? Like, I think they all have like a universal stench. You're. I was gonna. I was just I, gonna I, say. I that. know what. A, I feel it, like I know exactly. It's the what same a smell. Yeah. Smells like it's the same. And they smell. all smell the same. Just yeah. some are stronger than others. Like uh, like a nigga just cleared out a whole entire train <laughs> cart yesterday. Like the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> all what? Yep. Eight doors and shit. He fucked that whole shit up, and he was just laying there like. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this nigga really killed it, bro. <laughs> 
Like, you I, can I, smell it a little bit outside of the train. I'm like, yeah. fuck. Oh, <laughs> it was one time. It fucked me up so bad. I'm walking away. And I felt I like I was still smelling it. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I know. I be worried <laughs> that this shit gets on. Yeah, you know, like, especially yo. when I go to work. Yeah, I'm like, I'm nah. Like, Damn, they don't smell that shit. It fucks your shit. brain up so yeah. much. But I, it's that same universal scent. And it fucks me up. Because I... No, nobody should ever have to go through that. That that, that just sucks. It hurts. No one hard. should ever have to go through homelessness, or no one should ever go through smell. No, you shouldn't <laughs> smell like that. <laughs> you shouldn't smell like that. No. And then you mad at me, motherfuckers, for taking showers in the sink. <laughs> yeah, I would love for him to take a shower in the sink. <laughs> that dude had probably those homeless dudes haven't showered in years. <laughs> you know how hard no, you have to try to deep. smell that bad. Nah, you're right. Oh, you gotta try. <laughs> Son, I cannot. I cannot. It's gonna bother you. No, you get used no, to your own called, scent. It's called olfactory fatigue. Olfactory fatigue is pretty much when your nose gets adjusted to a specific scent that you don't smell it, but other people can. For example, this area right now, this house has a, a scent that you won't notice, but we'll notice it when we come in and out this shit. Yeah. We, all of our like? houses have a, a specific scent that I don't know. we it's don't not, notice. It's not like a specific thing. Yeah. Uh, you never yeah. notice that people have scents? Yeah. I, I Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, you ever gave, like, one of your girls, uh, like, a sweater or something to wear, and, and then they give it sm- back or yeah. something, and yeah, it still and smells, smells like them? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what it is. Like, all of our houses have this own scent, but we don't notice it because we're in it every day. Our nose and brains are adjusted to it. <laughs> right. But other people who come in and out will notice it. Same thing with, like, perfumes. Like, if I put it on after, like, an hour, I won't know what it smells yeah. like. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. So they don't notice that shit. They don't notice that they're fucking the shit up. And if you're going years without it, whew, that's nasty. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, it's been times I, I've been like on the verge of throwing up because yeah. I'm like, I got, I got sick. Like, like I that. wanted to cry. Oh, you got sick? I got, I had to, I threw up once. On the train? I had to get off and throw oh, up. Yeah, it's been times I had to get the like. It's been like times where I um rush hour, missed a couple trains, got on one finally, seen the next train was coming in 15, 20 minutes. I had to get up like fuck it. I can't. I can't. I just got it. You know what I mean? Like it sucks. Yeah. No. I don't think nobody should have I, to do that. I got on the I, train I pray for once, them guys, man. And it literally smelled like he shit his pants there. <laughs> and I just I literally I I got in, smelled it, and then I I I got off because I was I got sick. What would you do if he said fuck it? Y'all don't want to give me money. He really shit himself and just started throwing it at people. I'm getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. How you get so thirsty? You start drinking steak, steak sauce. sauce. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Did you attend any of the Fashion Week events? No. No, I was at a couple <laughs> bars with Fashion Week people there. Like, what, what writers? What, what's a Fashion Week person? The people writers for magazines and shit like that. Hmm. I heard them over talking shit. To me, fashion shows are one of the weirdest concepts of things. Like the fact that you all you have to just the the walk they have, they're all stone faced. There's just a bunch of people staring at them walking back and forth. Mm-hmm. This is a weird thing. I've always felt the same way. Like I, have you ever I, been to one? Not like a real one. A fake one. Uh, for like I was actually thinking it was with Jacob. Yeah, it was like some uh, designer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chick to did yeah. a fashion show, hosted a fashion show. I think they're supposed to show no personality. Well, because they're right. showcasing the clothes and shit. Why? why? Like, for example, my question is we look at models and they're, they're, they're like these super beautiful people. My whole thing is for guys, are we, attra- are we just focused on models because they're attractive or do we even care what they're showcasing or doing? As a model. You mean like a straight? You mean straight guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean like, like straight guys? And I, I want to know what, what do gay guys get out of it? Gay guys? I mean, well, get out of what? people that love fashion love models. clothes and the way they look. Sometimes they're not even like models for uh, fashion. They're just like runway models for like Victoria's Secret. That's not like a major like fashion thing. It's just I mean, like it's underwear. A lingerie. I know. It's just like underwear, but like what, what, what would a gay guy get out of that? I think they like the the makeup, the essence of beauty. I think they appreciate that. <laughs> the essence um, of beauty. <laughs> yeah. That sounds wild, gay. <laughs> the 
way she saying. captures the essence of beauty. It's I worked wonderful. in fucking. <laughs> I've Both. worked. I've worked in fucking fashion for years. I know yeah. how they like look at shit. So. Okay, so maybe you might. So give us some insight. Yeah. yeah. Well, they there's a lot of they take a deeper look into shit. I'm like, sure. Especially like colors, color schemes, patterns, and all that. Okay. They they fashion is a form of art. Mm-hmm. So it's a way of it's appreciating art. Now, if it's something that's not clothes necessarily mm-hmm. like like makeup or something or mm-hmm. lingerie has certain different looks to it i think like there's much sexier lingerie than other lingerie so here's my thing i have a couple more questions like why are models or well, supermodels why are they normally very skinny tall and slim like um like thin like, uh, thin as fuck a lot of it's like no assets uh no ass are you done yeah. All right. Um, no boobs. Nah. <laughs> um, no nipples. Well, there's there's <laughs> now there's now an increasing demand for like more plus. Yeah, now yeah, I can see that. But uh, it probably has to do with especially as Europe, like the Europe, it's like a Euro, especially European designers mm-hmm. have a preference the way they feel like clothes look <laughs> different like, depending on like the size and like the cuts and everything. That right. like it's a little bit better. I think it's not better, but like I think for the designer. They, th- the clothes that are typically made for smaller people, like the way the clothes are supposed to look on someone, mm-hmm. it in it's a better envision of what the designer uh, entails that the clothes should look like. If that makes sense, no, like sm- like sm- uh, like a size small T shirt, like like designers make clothes for that shape for that for that cut of like, that's who they want to wear their clothes, and that's like when I say if I were to design like a hoodie and okay. like i want a picture of how it's supposed to shape on someone mm-hmm. it's easier to put that on a small person com- or like a skinnier person compared to someone fat i guess so another thing a lot of these designers be designing <clears throat> i ain't trying to shit on a bit somebody should be looking like some bullshit like it'll just be a fucking bow tie and oh like, yeah walk, oh oh walk down yeah there. all these fashion i've seen, seen a bitch wearing a dollar bill that's lit i fucked with her like i fuck with money so i fuck with her but it's like who the fuck gonna go outside <laughs> <laughs> wearing a dollar there, bill. There is a certain limit what to are we where doing? I can... And then it's like a, a coat that's only covers from here to here. And this whole side is like empty. Like, well, well, I was going to say. What we were, are we doing? Well, we were just talking about the Oscars. Literally, are, you could argue most of the people that watch the Oscars are there for, are watching the red carpet show. For the outfits. For the fashion and the outfits. And like that's their like celebrity's way of like showcasing their fashion and art what percentage of this shit that's on the runways actually gets sold and worn depends on the that's designer. what i'm saying like so, a lot uh, of shit is, ain't shit you'll see in, in a most suit. of the it depends it, it differs for all the designers some designers actually do sell their merchandise that's on the runway some of them will you'll never see yeah because i'm, I'm thinking i know we know, i know we will never see a majority of the shit that we see it, 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 yeah i mean it depends it, 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 there's it's also some, some well I'm it's also some outfits some of them you could argue there's like themes to runway shows yeah uh and it's just there to cater to the theme whether it be like a color scheme or just an, a vision that they have of it they get a little bit deep with this shit i'm not gonna lie like it's <laughs> another thing what's the importance of like the model walk like why do they have to learn and master a specific <laughs> walk um, runway. Why, like why? Like if we're showcasing like a, a a designer brand, like the fashion of it. Why does the way that she walk matter? Like, do they want people to walk like that? There's they wear that. There's an art to that po- doesn't make sense. There's, to me. So there's an art to like posture. There's people that admire good posture, and people. Uh, I actually know someone who uh, teaches runway models how to walk and stuff like that. And like if you look at the difference between someone who does walk. Mm-hmm. In a, with great posture and the, the right way to walk compared to someone who isn't, you'll Makes notice a, a di- you'll notice the difference and it just changes the imagery. So, is there people in the audience like critiquing how they're walking and shit? Like, uh, that? probably. I'm like, sure, like, absolutely. Uh, yeah, shit. you. Like, I mean, you're just... literally being watched. So, uh, assuming what comes after watch is that you're being judged. Uh, so, there so are people judging how the. Walk I would definitely. I would definitely say there's modeling scouts that go to runway shows that want to scout talent. And yeah, there's people being judged on how models have their posture and everything. My my whole thing too is if you're selling like, you know, if it's not necessarily high fashion, like maybe like a Marc Jacobs or some shit like Mm -hmm. that, where it's like kind of can be casual too. There's different like a wide range. Brand Marc Jacobs and not actual designer Marc Jacobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
um like wouldn't you want to show emotion and like greater well the, in the thing if it's so, a lifestyle kind of clothing too like so not just i would there are certain designers that are actually on your side now that it's it's just a mindset i mean they're different designers have different images and some people especially now they're like if you look at a lot of ads your the models have completely changed yeah. especially very recently in terms of who they're grabbing they're grabbing people with this really distinct features like recently the brand that i just had worked for ted baker like they had a model with a huge gap tooth i've like, seen i've seen a bunch like, of gap like, teeth now. yeah and like that's it's, a huge shit it's not your prototypical like you would never th- like 15, 10 15 20 years ago you'd be like that'll never be a model but now people have started to change the way that how they it gives people personality mm-hmm. now I, like it's their way of because they don't really you don't you never hear models talk so you don't really like for the most part when, when the, they don't talk um so you don't get that personality out of them you never get to see what so their their look is their personality yeah so now i would argue it's changing so i would say it's heading towards more of that another thing i don't understand is like poses yeah if you look at the pictures they be in like the most uncomfortable positions in life like it'd be looking like these bitches get hit in the head with like a baseball bat and it's just slumped <laughs> over it's like and then they take the picture and it's like, oh, check out this new Victoria's Secret. Like, she looks dead, bro. Like, why? What is the art in that? Teach me. Like, that's what I want. Teach to me. <laughs> teach, teach me how um, I can see this the way they see it so I can understand it better. Because I, 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 you, know, I like, you have a photographer I'll be on a, I'll be friend. On, I'm on a quest for knowledge and shit no, like that, but he you, doesn't know. <laughs> Jacob, do you know what's good photography and what's not? <laughs> They be they be like contorted the weirdest ways of all time, and it's just like, I, how does this help sell what you're trying to get your attention? Like if you see a bitch folded backwards, like playing Twister, it kind of want to call would, help. Like yo, <laughs> it, I would say it depends. I want to hit her like yo, did that hurt when you took that picture? Like I would, they definitely probably would. <laughs> Yeah. Certain poses. I, I, mean, I, 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 I there's sometimes where people it. like like the, there's like images of like damsel in distress type of like look where they're like posing on the floor. And like, yeah, oh. like what is yeah, all the whole this? bunch like, of fucking? <laughs> I it's uh, it's crazy when you see these models in the streets, like these even the IG models. When you see mm-hmm. them in the streets doing these poses with their photographer friends mm-hmm. and shit like that, I'm like it's cringy to me just to watch from the outside. Looking from the outside in, it just looks. I would say I would stuff. absolutely agree when, especially with IG ones, mm-hmm. uh, it is super, like watching people like pose in the middle of the street and, yeah. on some like basic shit. It is cringeworthy. To me. Another thing is like, and they don't care. Is this like is that just like a natural reaction or do they have to learn how to pose? Like, is that I think a, you have to learn it. You have to learn how to. Pose? Oh yeah, yeah. You def- there's definitely what schools. is there to learn posture like you have like certain Form, like angles facial form, features yeah. yeah it's a whole new world that's crazy i don't think i could ever do it i just uh, what do you say yo you want to be a hand model okay like, <laughs> want to be a hand job model no. <laughs> 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 that's pause <laughs> <laughs> so you should have saw that coming <laughs> That's the ad. <laughs> Did we just make a, a fire ad for a hand job? <laughs> Are you gonna go casting? No. <laughs> oh shit! There's an app called Handy. What is that? What about? does it do? You can hire. Uh, oh, people. actually, I know. Oh, what to you work do. to do like yeah. uh, handy work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you. <laughs> uh, Would y'all want like ever like? If somebody offered you an opportunity like to advertise like a street wear brand, would y'all do it? Yeah, be, give it a little bit of interest. I, uh, I yeah. I feel like street wear is like the most like normal kind of like easily. Yeah, because it's like they're. It looks like they're being themselves. They're not doing these weird like <laughs> like laying I've down on the floor dead. Some like, some of the I've higher end ones. Are, yeah. I've seen somewhere there are. Is why street, street, street is considered streetwear? Uh, it's, it's like a a, a, a a line of Adidas though, so it's yeah, like it's kind of. It's Japanese, right? Yeah, the Japanese uh, Adidas. Yoshi shit. Yamamoto. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but they be using either really white or really black people to ad- advertise their shit. Complexion has a lot to do with clothes too. 
Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. You can see a lot of colors pop. There's a lot of colors that could can only work on certain individuals and whatnot, so. I feel you. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. What is your fashion 101? Yeah, no, there's, there's <laughs> the crash course on fashion. <laughs> um, it, well, what? Did Instagram remove the likes yet? No. Are they going to? Is that a real thing? I thought. They said. I've I seen like motherfuckers in panic. <laughs> <Like pussy. laughs> yeah, I've seen people in panic mode about that shit. I think, yeah, maybe Instagram might be a little, little bit pussy because they know that that shit might fuck them over a little bit. Probably even a lot because, like, I don't know if it can necessarily drive people away, but it can get a lot of their fans upset or usually I was going to say, yeah, I I think they just thought about <laughs> There'll it. There'll be a lot of backlash. It. It's just not worth I just don't think where what I don't see them winning in that. Like, I mm-hmm. don't see them gaining. Like, right now, you could Instagram is probably the... I mean, Facebook technically owns it, but wouldn't whatnot. But Instagram is probably the most popping social media platform. In my opinion, right? it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, why would you? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Type shit. Like, okay. don't, don't, don't fuck up something that's making so many, so much money right now. Mm-hmm. I think they want to make more money. That's the thing. Or they want. I they don't do think want, that. And that and they, I, they could make more money if they start taxing these advertising. Yes. Yeah. No, and fine, but in terms of they're not going to be able to make more money off well, of no likes. But that's what I think they're trying to do. They're trying to take the power away, away from, from the, the influencers, influencers yeah. that you know have used their platform to make I don't know. I think money off. I think they're being really careful about it. Yeah, because they know they'll fuck it up. Yeah. They'll, they'll, I, definitely I think they're going to find up. another way to, to try and get that. I don't know. They should just tax them. Uh, yeah, but how do you monitor it? How do you monitor to monetize? Um, I don't know. Just tax everyone the same amount. But how, you, yeah. But Instagram would have to be again a seat at the table for the negotiations in terms of what each person's getting paid and everything like that. <clears throat> Instagram isn't paying the people. Charging twenty grand per like thousand the, followers. The brands and whatnot are paying the people. The charging share. people. Charge the influencers. Anyone who's twenty like, grand? Anyone with a blue check mark. Nah, that's not fair. Not everyone verified is rich. You're right. Yeah, some of them be verified with thirteen K followers. True. Tough shit. They would immediately go to another platform. And then but what is where? it? It's TikTok? On Facebook and eventually yeah, but I'm just saying eventually you'd probably think I don't think so. even tick is TikTok like Social media, media? Like, I don't know. It, I don't know is. what you can do on there. It is. It's you make it's, videos, but can you communicate with other people through there? Probably. You comment. So that's it, right? Like, is it not like much? It's share yeah, shit with other people. I, I don't know if you could DM people. Yeah, see, I, I we could look into that, but I don't, I don't, I don't see us migrating to, to TikTok instead. I feel like TikTok no. is just a, a brand. That's a separate little. Yeah. I mean, Snapchat was trying to. I won't be surprised if yeah. TikTok joins get bought by. Facebook. I wouldn't be surprised either. I feel like they might be trying to do that. I mean, sounds like a thing. I just don't see a bright future for it. I, I feel like people get sick of it. I feel like it's something that could. It's a product that could easily be replaced with TikTok? something else. Yeah, I think you could just. I don't, I don't you think could, so. you I, could just plug it into Instagram. I thought so at first, but the amount of content that's on Instagram now that is made through TikTok is way beyond what I expected. So I do see it, it lasting a long time, just not forever. I just feel like you can go to it easily to another platform and be. Duplicated, and then everybody's like, "Yeah, we'll just keep it." Oh, Instagram platform. making their own version, yeah. Kind of like how they stole stories from Snapchat. Yeah, That's so it, killed them. <laughs> so yeah, Snapchat kind of dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> speaking of Snapchat and all of that, did y'all see the new announcement of the Samsung Galaxy S twenty? No, no. Well, Samsung has a bunch of. <laughs> we talked about it in one of these episodes. How they have like the twisting TV. That's yeah, kind of yeah I remember that shit. They have that. They also have like this little thing called Bali. No relation to Bali Ballerson. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but Bali is pretty much a a home ball robot thing it's like a robot ball like the sh- like the like little the, shit from the robot? star wars it's like yeah it's like this <laughs> the robot the real robot <laughs> yeah it's like the the little uh b b2 what's his name 
B to it. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the ball, the ball robot. Little orange little shit in the new Star ball. Wars. Yeah, the, new, yeah. the shit that they try to get R2D2 R2 out of here for. Yeah. <laughs> so Samsung has their own one called Baldy, which is pretty much the same thing as that. Just like a little camera it follows you around the house or wherever you're at, records videos, it watches your house when you're gone. It does smart shit like Alexa and all that. Rob shit. you. <laughs> Where it could digitally project like hologram images for you. It's pretty dope. Nah, <laughs> it don't do that. Oh. But, it, you know, they got shit like that. They announced the TV. They also announced the Samsung Z Flip, which is like a flip phone, which is... Is that this folding screen shit? Mm-hmm. Well, no, that's a different one. The folding screen shit is the shit that came out last year that folds and opens like a book. This one folds and opens vertically. Like that, yeah. So you close it like this and it turns into like a square. see this part of the phone and then I'll just have like the phone... Like the number, you can get text and shit like that. Then you flip it open, then it's like this. Okay. It's a cool creative concept. Uh, I'm not interested in that per se, but the S20 was announced, and I think it's pretty big uh, leap for smartphones, where it has like pretty much the best everything so far. It, shit, motherfucker has like five cameras on that motherfucker. Yeah, we're talking mad shit when iPhone put three cameras on it. Now you got five cameras. Who so. was y'all? Samsung people. I wasn't one of them. I fuck with I fuck with multiple cameras because I fuck with recording videos and shooting mm-hmm. pictures with my phone. So with the three being able to do three different things and like combine them all into one for one great shot, I fuck with that shit. I do think five cameras is wild because yeah, I was about to say we having a field day. What do you need five cameras? <laughs> what for? yeah? What what's the camera limit? Yeah. So my shit got eventually. One. Eventually, the whole back of the phone is gonna be nothing but. <laughs> yeah. So it's like one, two. It's like a square in a corner, yeah. and it has one, two, three, four, five, or it might be four, and the other one's a light, like a flash. Okay. So it has all of that, but it can do a lot of shit with it. For example, the ultra version, which costs the the most a phone ever costs, which is fourteen hundred dollars for a fucking phone, nigga. That shit is crazy. <laughs> The shit can zoom in a hundred times. So the way you can zoom in with the regular phone, like it does do that times one hundred. So you can like what? Yeah, that shit is inc- insane. It has like this. I don't even know how to break it down, but it has like some uh, digital magnifying shit where it just lets you just zoom in. Eventually, you're gonna have a telescope on and your then phone. Pretty much what most phones do you when imagine. you take a picture, <laughs> it combines four pixels into one. And then with the ultra version, combines nine pixels into one. So the more you zoom in, the less blurry everything becomes with that shit. So that shit is crazy. The more you zoom, the less blurry it gets? Yeah, it's the clearer the pictures become. What? Or, or the I thought it was the opposite. It just, it just com- defied physics For example, like shit? you take a picture, and whenever, whenever the shit is blurry, it's because all the pixels. Oh, you know I mean? So okay. it's just putting more pixels into one so you can get the proper color and proper visual look of the shit. So it has that. It's pretty. That's pretty much the major thing with it. But then it has like, uh, like faster like RAM, uh, bigger gigabytes, and all of that shit like that. They also announced a partnership with Microsoft, so there'll be like games that you can play on that shit, which is cool. Cause I went on a trip, brought my Xbox controller, was playing Xbox on my shit. So now they're making games for specifically for it. Yeah, they have like Forza, fuck that shit. But they have Forza, <laughs> Forza Street for that shit, and who knows what else they'll collaborate and do. Being able that you can cloud stream on the phone, which is cool. Another thing that they announced is that you can shoot and record 8K video, which is insane to me because like we barely have enough 4K content yeah. for our TVs, but these niggas want to shoot 8K videos and like, what does that even look like? Better than real life, apparently. Yeah, because <laughs> at what point is shit just gonna start yeah. looking <laughs> like? So impossible yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying so it's like all right this is all cool and shit but it, the question that i came to the conclusion was have we reached peak smartphone like what else can a smartphone realistically do for us to make us be like oh shit shoot guns realistically though do you want your your, your phone to have a gun in it that'd be cool <laughs> I like still feel like a personal assist. They can improve the personal assistant to shit. So. How, how would you want that specifically? I remember you said that before. I feel like the diction could still be better. <laughs> Just like they still fuck up with like names. I feel like if it could dictate better names and everything on your phone. That sounds like software like, though. All right. Well. Oh, you talking about from a hardware standpoint? Mainly, I think, because like what else? Infinite can a phone, battery. Like, for example, like. 
Samsung is copying off an of iPhone. They're getting rid of the headphone jack. Oh, they got rid of that? They got their own buds and shit like that, too. So it's like, what else can a, a phone like really do or be to actually just take that next leap? It's just not a phone. Like, it's some hologram shit. Yeah, right? Or, or like, it's just, just your watch, and then yeah. you just like... Yeah, like... It's morphin' time. <laughs> sleeve. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I want. I want the fire. sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, just you just like, go like this, and you on a phone or some shit. No, nah, not even. I can. shit just hits I, your brain. It yeah. like sends electrons to your brain. I'd be shook. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but you still do it. Maybe. That's a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. yeah. You don't even watch TV anymore. You don't got to be in front of a TV. You're just like your eyes, just like it's just. <laughs> yeah. That'd be wild. I think we're at the peak. For now. I guess for now until, like, what? Until next year. <laughs> Apple's going to announce their shit in, what, September or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, September. And then Galaxy's going to announce their, their next shit. shit. And it's like... It'll never end. It's, yeah, it'll never end. But it's like, what else can they do that can actually get my attention? That really just have me like, oh, I need this shit. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't use half of the shit that yeah. it does already. Yeah. Like... But they my, they my, said they had some fitness shit with it. Like you have a personal trainer on your shit. You imagine they have this shit called oh, I forgot the name of it. They have like this this you put on this waist thing around you. Spanks? Your, no, it's not. It's not like a pair of pants. It's like a belt. You remember when uh in Captain America uh Civil War when Rhodey got fucked up War Machine? Yeah. Oh, remember uh, how we uh, had to have the shit to walk? Yeah. You get this this shit like that that and then. You have your, your personal assistant through the phone that projects to your smart devices, and then it'll fucking work out with you, which is fucking... And, and it comes with AR glasses, augmented re- reality glasses. So you can see the motherfucker wherever you're looking. That's weird. It's weird. It's mm-hmm. like, weird. What the fuck out my kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, they have a smart kitchen. What the fuck? The is phone that? will let you know, like you have all of these ingredients and foods in your fridge. And you need your fridge. All... you can make this meal, this meal, this meal. It'll like put together different yeah. combinations for you. But you need yeah. the your fridge phone. too, right? No. Oh, I you don't can do it with so. that fridge. Maybe it's a smart. No, fridge. I feel like if you need a, you know, you need the fridge, the smart fridge. As so well, the smart fridge because there's also the smart fridge. fridge. There's like the smart stoves too that they have now. As That'll well. cook for you. No, but oh. they like have like <laughs> the ingredients all set up there and right up the stove, and you can do shit. Wow. Like recipes and everything like that built into the stove. How what else do we need smart? How long you should cook. Apparently we don't need a smart broom. That shit stands up on its own. <laughs> that shit's crazy. <laughs> that was, man. But that shit need a sweep on its own now. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That broom challenge taught me how stupid we are as a society. I didn't know that shit could stand up. Really? Nah. Yeah, I know. I just think it goes into show like... How gullible we How, are. You, n- I, That's a lie? I wouldn't just Lance say... did not say that. Who said that? Somebody, someone that yeah. wanted to fuck with people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're always consistent. Was... Yeah. It's not like... You got a broom? Yeah, look. Look that. Make that shit stand up, bro. I'm not touching it. Do it on... <laughs> <laughs> that shit don't work. <laughs> My broom don't broom. <laughs> That's, <not funny. laughs> That's a lot of we ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit, bro. Yeah, whatever. But nah, NASA I think, would not tweet out about why. Why would brooms be the only thing that could stand? I think this just goes. <laughs> into no, because sh- they said it said gravity. A man is said, "Yo, everybody, everything could stand up today. Even your motherfuckers in wheelchairs. It's the only day. That'd be wild, right?" I just think it goes to show like we don't care how stupid some shit is. Yo, they fucked this up. (laughs) Y'all motherfuckers lied. (laughs) Fuck you, NASA. To your point about society, I just think this goes to show you can put whatever stupid shit on the internet. Yeah, people will run with it. Yeah, especially if a credible like someone who seems like they're about. Especially if Tory Lanez says it. What did he say? He was the one that came out. He that was the first video I saw. Where he made a broom stance that NASA said today is the only day your broom could stand up. Mm. I've seen other people, but not, I didn't see Tori. He was the first one I saw. Okay, okay. You think Tory Lanez keep, follows NASA? Why wouldn't he? Maybe because he just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he got a hairline back. He does? Yeah. What? 
What does that have to do with NASA? I feel like he followed Bosley. <laughs> Bosley didn't work for him, so he did some other shit. How do you know Bosley didn't work for him? He said it. He did? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's some new shit that, that niggas so, only with money can do, but. It's like 20 grand. Yeah. Oh. All right. Is Bosley's not guaranteed? Hell no. I don't, believe, like, I don't believe no infomercial shit. Ain't that shit cost like three grand at least? Or it something? did. I think it's, it was it's an like, infomercial. It's gotta be at least a few grand. Which one is Bosley? The one is that in the, the infomercial. Shit where you, uh, brush it? I thought you just dripped no, that I thought, shit. Yeah. Wow. Was With like, a pipe bed or some shit like that. Well, I don't know. I thought. Well, I thought Just for Men was just doing that. I thought they were the same thing. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I thought. Ain't Bosley. Bosley I thought. Men? I thought Bosley's like a treatment. The only Bosley I know is from Charlie's Angels. I thought Bosley was just for men. No, it's for women too. <laughs> they, they, they never <laughs> advertise women on Bosley commercials. <laughs> it's well, a no. It's a hair transplant clinic. Yeah. Oh. The woman one is called Bossy. <laughs> All right. Wait, so NASA Live. I'm fucking hungry. Are we opening this shit? <laughs> uh, after the fucking episode. After the episode? Yeah, it's bonus content. The fuck? No one's going to give a fuck about bonus content for us eating cereal. I guarantee you people will watch it. You think someone's going to watch an hour and a half of this shit just to watch us eat cereal? No, that's why I just want it now, because I'm hungry now. All right, so then get, let's go to three scoops. All right. Fine. Uh, you, mean, you want us to get get up and try this shit? No, I just want to do it now. I just want to eat the shit. Oh, because you don't... Uh, I eat it straight out the box, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can try it now if you want. Yeah, that could be your you scoop. You eat fur burgers? <laughs> What? I'm not gonna waste my scoop on that. So then, you gotta scoop cereal, my nigga. That's how it works. I mean, yeah. Uh, now you can pick. It. Uh, you can. We can we could do three scoops. All right, and do that fine. Separately. I guess. All right, fine. I'm going first. What? Um, my scoop today is the brain is a is an interesting thing. Oh boy. And I want to know why, when you have to take a piss. I Does it amplify saying. when you hit your block? Yeah. Yep. Or the, the front door? Uh, like, you you can go two and a half, three hours of having to take a piss. But the second you hit your block, like, once you hit that corner or once you hit that, all of a sudden you go, oh, shit. For me, it's and it, I no, know I can, I can do there. it. Yeah. Not even. I can't do it on the block. What do you mean? No, whatever I know, I can do it. Like, for example, if I'm close to my job, yep. I know I can. You know what I mean? My brain's going to like, yo, you got to go. Now, nigga, because like we're right there, yeah. you better go. Like right you now. can't just like you've been holding it in, and I've been doing the same. Like I don't TV know, like the, Wait, did you pee yourself yesterday? No, oh. I'm just, <laughs> not. no, but it? no, but oh. it's just like why does it amplify once you hit your crib or like your block? I think it's like instinct. I think your body like knows like your home like habitat or some <laughs> shit like that. Because like like you can constantly think to yourself, "All right, cool, I'm just you know walking down the block, walking down the block." I'm right around the corner. Not yet. It's cool. All right, cool. Boom. And it's like, no. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? That shit's the worst when you got to take a shit. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? And then somebody in the bathroom or something. I never felt that way in like public though. No, because I, one, I can't take shits in public really. Yeah. Unless I have. But like, have to. that's why, like, what? why does your brain like trick you like that? Like, even you're telling yourself like, all right, cool. I'm, I made it this far. Even like when you're like two blocks away, you're fine. But when you hit the certain point, for me, it's when I get in my crib. It amplifies significantly, and then you gotta start doing the dance and everything like that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. And it won't stop. Like once you hit, like, <laughs> you just feel it starting to like get ready. No, done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I feel you on that. I, I wish I had an answer for you, but <laughs> I go through it too. Yeah, that's my scoop. Excellent. I got uh, one. I was going to tell you, I found a newer, better way to jerk off, but you ain't ready for that conversation. Oh, quick, cool. Yours is a porn related one? No. Oh. I was just going to say, I think the rating system is flawed. Numbered ratings, it ain't the wave. I think we should just end that shit. So you that's want it. lettered ratings? 
What are you talking about? The rating system is flawed. Number ratings, they gotta go. What does that have to do with jerking off? I said I was gonna tell you. I was gonna, that was gonna be my scoop, but y'all not ready for the conversation. I said I found a newer, better way to do it, but y'all not ready for that convo. What the fuck are you saying? Exactly. The rating system is flawed, though. This is this, this is my scoop. For example, y'all this seen? Sounds, I feel like I'm in a episode like a Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I just for thought example, he like glitched for a second. For example, for example. <laughs> hey, it's all, it's all, it's all there. Just going over y'all heads. But look, for example, the dunk contest yesterday. Y'all seen it? Not all of it. No, all right, I so saw pretty highlights. much what happened was Aaron Gordon was snubbed out of mm-hmm. a victory because the rating system doesn't work. What do you do when you give somebody a 10 out of 10 or something, then somebody goes after and does something even better, and you can't go higher than a 10? That's the whole logic with that p- the pizza shit. Exactly. Yeah. What do you do when you find a better like slice? There shouldn't be a limit. It, exactly. That's what I'm saying. When we call women a 10, what do we do when we see someone who's higher than a 10? Maybe you should answer that. You said you're a 10. Uh, yeah, but I say a 10 out of what? Out of what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you <laughs> did you just play yourself? No, I'm a ten. He definitely did. He definitely did. No, I'm a ten out of five. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's fucked up when we just put a cap at something like. When you see something better than something, I feel like, for example, do you have a pro- a proposition? Yeah, for example, with like the dunk contest, I think maybe the contestants should all go, and then they vote who did the best and who did the worst, like that. Like for example, if Aaron Gordon and uh, nigga on the heat, I forgot his name, Derek if, Jones Jr. Derek Jones Jr. If they went, he did his dunk, he did his dunk, and then that's when they voted. Then I think that that would make a whole lot more sense because once you already give somebody a ten at at the start of it, and then Aaron Gordon goes up and does something way better. What the fuck do you do? I would I agree. agree. I would also just say, why don't we just get smarter judges? judges? Yeah, that's that that's true. But even still, are more critical. Week, well, every I year because they get. Well, what do you do when somebody? Yeah, but they all every single judge at the dunk contest tries to put on like a show or does something like like the judges. They're there to fluff shit up. They're not actually there you. to critique. They're they're all. But still, the number shit—that's it, it, not solve that. It's flawed. Yeah. I, would, I would admit you that. Can't, you can't. Like, I would say it has some more to do with the judges yeah. themselves. But fine, let's just. No, I don't think. So. I would. I would definitely say I, so. I just. Think, I think the biggest problem. I think. Is I, would, I think judges. they always get corny judges, but whatever. Uh, corny or not, I just still this think whole the number is corny. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. I. I. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing yeah. with you. I'm yeah. just understand that, but I think yeah, they should just pick which one's a better dunk. Mm-hmm. So. And then, why do and then they're still gonna be corny and call it a tie. All the time. You're right. I think you're on to something. I think we shouldn't put a limit on any rating. There's no limit on numbers. Numbers are infinite. Exactly. I think it makes more sense. I think Master P was on to something. Like, but how do you turn? Yeah, but then how do you determine value? Whatever's a high number. But I'm so with words like yo fire. Amazing <laughs> fire! Also, oh, you should just so you, should, so you should just get away with valuing. No, nah, just use numbers. Still, the higher number has more value. Boom. But what about revisiting? Yeah, but then eventually, at one point, you'd feel like where one's value may not be that great. What? Like you could say <laughs> you, you could start ca- calling women like twelves. I guess right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, like, your scale in terms of, like, eventually, what if, like, you find a 20? And she's a 20. What the fuck? (laughs) But then, like, like, where does it start? Then then you're, like, but then, like, like, how are you justifying how great of a, like, is that 20 that much better than, like, an 8? And then, like, I feel like it's. See, that's, I don't think I've ever, like, it's been a long time since I called a woman, like, a number, like. Actually, I'm lying. But the way I mostly describe like a, a, an attractive woman, like yo, she's fire, she's bad, etc. I feel like that holds more weight than the actual number grade, in my opinion. 
I feel like it, it resonates more and it means more to me personally like that. Uh, I, all right. <laughs> I don't know. You good? I'm good. I, I just don't you know what to say. Perplexed. Yeah, you do. I'm not perplexed. No. I, just, I don't know flex. what to. I don't know what to. How to respond? It, it just it's a different lane. So I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Though. What was confused? When you put you're just, you're just in preference of not giving rating with numbers. You'd rather rate no. I think I think no. what he's trying with, to say is there just should be no limit. Exactly. But then, where do you determine value if there's no limit? If it's like an infinite, so you don't scale? decrease the number, the value of the numbers. But then, how do you know what where to value what? What do you mean? Like, because what if my eight is someone else's five? Right. Okay, but that's the case with any opinion. Okay, these so, are all opinions. But in 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 a sense, ten is your perfection, right? Mm-hmm. So, so what like, happens when you find someone who's past the ten? Then? Is that past perfect? Well, then that's where your well, that's the thing. rating There's, is flawed that, yourself because no, if you the, feel that someone's a ten, you feel that. Well, here's the thing. There's no way something can be better than Me, that. Me, ten, They're, and perfect are the same. I don't think right. anybody's either. All right, but you if for an argument can be made that if you feel like someone's a ten, that there's no flaw about her. Right. No. But then you have someone else that comes along. Better. I think we're, but we're, like you could I. The but fall. how how would she how would she be better? She could be more attractive. But but if you find some, where's the thing that you're finding more attractive in her? To then say the other one was a ten to begin with in the first place. Maybe I think her the, tits could be a centimeter bigger. But like at that point, the only like, the only flaw here. I would just argue that there's different versions of perfection, or, or like in I would there say or, perfection. not perfection, that's why I don't think or perfection not perfect, not per, whatever, not perfection, but like tens. But like, I, I don't think tens exist. But that's either. the that's the big flaw in this is that we think that there is perfection. There is no, nothing's perfect. Yeah. So we can, that why do we why, rate as why, if there yeah, is? Why it? put or, that as a cap? Or rather, you can say I like. don't like. There's nothing in her I need for her to improve. It's not perfect. Fine, whatever, but like... For, for example, I can be attracted to a seven. I can say the same thing. There's nothing that I need to improve with. I can be... I mean, that, that comes, cool, but that's, comes, that, that's opinionated, though. Like, why, yeah, it's why, all but opinionated. Why, but if you think she's a seven, what would separate her and from the eight? And if we're t- are we talking just like looks? Uh, the whole looks well, and numbers that, well, thing it, is probably flawed to begin with. Yeah, but... but that's why I don't like tying it to numbers, yeah. Because bad is bad. Some could be better. So it could be less bad. I but. think you like what you like. Uh, yeah. I think we're giving this too much thought. Probably. I don't think so. I just I just agree with the point that there shouldn't be a limit for rating. My only say, if you have no limit, then you lose value. That makes no sense, but... <laughs> it, it does, because you don't know how to scale things out. And our numbers to begin with right now do not have a limit. They're infinite. Okay, that does not yes. mean that they don't have value. Are you saying numbers don't have value? Three dollars has a value. Four dollars has a value. It's increasing in value. Yeah, but we're money. talking about the unknown. What? What's you're, in terms of the infinite amount of numbers? How is that? You're, you're, when you're on a scale, it's different. No. Yes. It's like time. If you were, if you were to keep diving into a precise moment in time, you can go into the millisecond, mil, millions of multi. Yeah. Like. Depending on where you're, if you keep zooming into the scale, it's gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fine, but in th- just the terms of natural, just logic and how we can comprehend things, like how we justify, you, you only can justify to a certain to what you have of knowledge and your experience. You, huh? like, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Right <laughs> now, <but laughs> what? <laughs> he lost me. <laughs> you how? You you're not valuing things, if if you, you. Wait, so if I say a woman's bad, that's not valuing. Her? That's not. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying you're talking. I'm he. This is two separate points. You're just talking about infinite numbers. You're talking okay. about losing, like not referencing my numbers. That's okay. totally separate points. I we get. Both, I get. We're both yours. curious and understand but you. If, I'm just saying if you don't put a cap on something or no cap. <laughs> <laughs> just like where where do you where, like how do you va- like 
<laughs> you're putting a, you're put when you grade someone by a number, you're putting as in terms of like rating, you're putting them on a scale. You're putting them in a range. I'm you saying, can't like definitively say, "Oh, she's a seven. Meanwhile, your seven means dog shit. Like that's it's all comes down to personal preference at that point. But in, if you're talking it from a like total society getting on the same page, you have to put a limit on it. You're never going to be on the same page because these are opinions. But it's a different sense. Like I'm saying that the scale I'm choosing has no limits. Uh, fine, you're just gonna yourself in a. There's no point at that point. Like, there's, <laughs> there's no point in doing that. that. You make no sense. You make no sense. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no point in doing it. I, I don't have to justify my scale or like how I'm judging things off of it. I'm just saying it makes sense. In to terms have no of limit. sharing your opinion, you're not sounding credible. <laughs> what? <laughs> how does? How is there credibility in someone's opinion? Certainly, definitely can be. You don't judge people's opinions based off of credibility? I can, but... It, okay, it, yeah. <laughs> but I don't give a rat's ass what you think about <laughs> what my fine. or what anyone else That's thinks. Totally fine. I mean, you could, honestly, you could do whatever the fuck you want, of course, but you're talking about, in the sense, you're talking about something's flawed as a, in terms of society comprehending things. Like, you could do whatever the fuck you want. You could call fucking... The color blue for all you care. It's blue to you, it's blue. But society will say that's fucking white or whatever. You know, like, you can do whatever the fuck you want and have no credibility and no one's going to give a fuck about what you have to say. And if you're totally fine with that, that's fine, whatever. But in terms of something being flawed and you having an opinion on other people's opinion about grading things, then, yeah, that, but you need credibility. We have spent way you're too talking, long. You're talking, talking out your ass. You. You're talking like... <laughs> You have made no sense for like the made, past 10 minutes. I have made se- How have I not made sense? Maybe you're just, just too stupid to comprehend it. I am what? far from stupid, but... Oh, yeah? In terms of what scale? I think you're not that far away from stupid. How about that? You admire me. <laughs> All right, so I hate to transition out of that you know, very deep conversation that we were just into. But uh, my scoop's about porn. Um, Shocking. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if this is the same for y'all, and I guess it'll probably depend on what sites you go to, but in my porn, like in the, I don't know how y'all look for porn. Have y'all noticed an up? (laughs) No, no, I mean, (laughs) no, no, but like when you get on and you, you, what, I don't know if you go by category, you're saying, oh, I'm in the mood for this today or whatever. You just Mm -hmm. see like what's popping, what's trending, like in the new videos or whatever. Have y'all noticed an uptick in glory hole porn. Mm-hmm. Is that? Uh, or is that um, mm-hmm. Considering I know you use spank bang, <laughs> I know <laughs> spank bang has been putting glory it more. Glory hole loads. The, what? Like, glory hole loads. That's the the site. That's one of the sites. It it, it counts how many uh, nuts she busted. What? Oh. Yeah. But anyways. Continue. Okay. So uh, yeah. So I, yes. To the to uptick in. Dude, how do people do? People really like glory hole porn. I would. I'll watch, I would. I'll watch them. I, to answer your question, yeah, not me, but yeah, people do. <clears throat> would y'all ever do a glory hole? Um. No. I, I only if I go first. <laughs> Dead ass. Because they be they they motherfucking nigga well, no, busting no. her mouth and then she's sucking another dick yeah. right after. That's od. Yeah. yeah. That's od. I wouldn't That's because OD. I would. I don't know what's on the other side. You can look through the hole. Some you'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you'd be sick of what? Huh? You'd be sick of what? It's something else on. You go through the hole. <laughs> But wait, that means it's a man in it. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Like, I don't know. Like, I wait. Would, that's why I wouldn't do a glory hole. If you I, look inside the hole, and if you see, what if it's dark? <laughs> why? Because what if they have like the lights turned off? Because you mean, don't. You can't to... record a video in the dark. Oh well, I'm not talking about in the sense of porn. He uh, just asked if you would you, you ever do a glory hole, like a real life shit. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. So yeah, that's that's. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Um, I, I've tried. I I don't know what the trend is with it though. Because all the videos I'm seeing now are... It's just oral. Mainly oral. Sometimes the motherfucker goes inside. Yeah, he does go in the room and that, that, Yeah, that looks yeah. like airplane sex. 
Like airplane bathrooms, uh, airport, airplane bathrooms. There's way more space than that, that glory hole. Yeah, I would say there's more space than the glory yeah, hole. They be having a bitch bent over. Yeah. Sometimes they fuck the, yeah, dog, yeah. The, the, the dude through the hole. Yeah. They back up against the yeah, uh, they do, yep. shit. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, sometimes I, they fuck the dude through the hole. Yeah. No, like not and, fuck and the and dude. What they do? Like, they like, knock like, on the shit right before yeah. they bust. They knock on the wall. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that, that was my scoop. I mm-hmm. just yeah. How are people into glory hole porn? Yeah, and then why is it now this new craze all of a sudden? It's not a new craze. This is old. Yeah. No, but uh, on the porn they're, sites, they're, that's what I'm seeing. It. Bang Bros used to have... They used to... That was one of their many... I know what you're referencing in terms of there's being different, like, crazes, because there's, like, the whole fake, like, stepson porn that was, like, that was constantly big. being advertised. No, that's, that's, like, the biggest thing right now. Yeah. Just... Weird. Yeah, glory hole. That's like like I mentioned. It was part of the uh the Bang Bros sites, like huh. Fuck Team Five and all that. Some of them, some of those videos end up not even being stepsons either. Some of them like well, I mean the, what? But like in, they're acting. You so mean they weren't fucking their stepsons for real? I'm talking about like the story is yeah. their real son. It's like they're actually now just oh, straight man. up going a real son instead of even fucking stepson. Incest. Yeah. Is it incest if it's a stepmom? No. Mm. Mm. No. So is it incest if you incest fuck your stepsister? Like, what if your dad married your aunt? What does that make? If, I just thought it had to do with blood relatives. If uh, your dad married your aunt. His sister. So your aunt is your mom. Right, and then if you fuck her, is that incest? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not even, like, debatable there. What? What? <laughs> You're saying what if your aunt was your stepmom? Yeah. That's still, I would say, incest. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. <laughs> Are you trying to find out how nasty no, you no, could no, be? No, 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 no. <laughs> what would you do if you got a, a, a pocket pussy, but it was like a mold of your homie's girlfriend's pussy? Um, You purposely bought it because it was a mold of your... No, it was like he a gave gift. it to you? It was a gift. No, not him. But like, you just... Your homie gave it to you as a gift? And look, this is after my girlfriend's pussy. You know, no, it's a, your fucking a hair. different homie. That's sick. But yo, and then you find out, like, oh. How do you get it? I don't know. They just say. How do you find out? Just, you got to test it. Imagine there was, like, a little card on, like, in like the, the box. Like, the homie was like, you got to. Po- Wait, this shit look just like. Hold the fuck girl. up. <laughs> you bought this shit? Like <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, like, each pocket pussy comes with a card. This, is, like, resembles a certain bitch. Like, in the, I thought that's what the they whole, do. They do. They mold it. Yeah, but it'll tell, and they tell you who the bitch is. I mean, the porn star was normally yeah. on the box. The oh, porn really? stars have. Yeah, uh, oh, they're, I didn't know they're, that. Yeah, their picture is normally on the box. You know how like the wrestling toys have. Oh, like, I didn't. <laughs> I just thought it was. A, holding the back, I didn't know if it was. Toy, just, yeah, you just see Riley Reed. Oh, Reed, oh but I didn't yeah. know if it was just her advertising the pocket pussy. No, no, it's her pussy. Of her pussy. Oh, okay. What if they do it for just random women now? I'm sure there's a service that does it. You get like a whole little bio. She's like an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. So, are you fucking it? That's kind of sick. Like, Is it? really, like I'm thinking about people like really like getting indulged into personalities of pocket pussies. Hmm. <laughs> people get indulged into a lot of weirder shit. Yeah. I guess. Like bro. shoes and shit. Like so, that. are you fucking the pocket pussy of your friends, girl? Um. Shit, mate. You might. I might. You. It ain't her. It ain't, it ain't her. Man. I mean, stare, nigga. You imagine you? I tried I that shit out. That shit I don't, was whack. I don't pick. <laughs> I don't pick my women out based on how that shit was whack. Just throw it <laughs> I don't pick my women out based on how their pussy looks. So I mean, like, <laughs> you're fucking it though. <laughs> but like, <laughs> if it feels good, that's how you pick them. <laughs> Do different pocket pussies feel different? If it's yeah, just, it's really? different. Mold. It's different pussy. But it's not real pussy. <laughs> but it's molded after their shit. If, so if a chick has a big pussy, it's a big pocket pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, I guess. But like, I would feel you like... eat her pocket pussy up? That's disgusting. <laughs> what do you get in eating a, a pocket <laughs> pussy? Practice. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> Can you imagine if there was like a, it's like bop it, and you gotta you gotta lick the pocket pussy to get better, and you get graded on it. <laughs> You're eating out of pocket pussy is so stupid. 
Yeah, I wouldn't train. How would you hold like, it? Oh, would you gym. hold it like an ice cream? And like, <laughs> <laughs> like, or you just like... No. Like that. <laughs> like, that sucks. Exactly. <laughs> if somebody just sees your shadow through the window <laughs> and you think you suck a dick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How do you hold it and go eat it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like ice cream cone. <laughs> You just Yo, you honestly, just rest it on be, the bed. <laughs> that's pretty. I think that might be like ten percent gay eating a pocket pussy out. Ten. Yeah. At Did least. you fuck it first? Whoa, that's wild. <laughs> Cause think about it, if you hold. Nah, that's sus. That's od sus. The way you gotta hold it to eat it. Regardless. You can lay it on the bed and just. <laughs> <laughs> what the. <fuck? laughs> You don't uh, really want a pocket pussy that bad. Huh? I don't want to eat it though. So, I, mean, I got a question for you. Why you <laughs> a pocket pussy? Nah, I got a question for you. <laughs> I don't want that on my statement and shit like that, or like in my Amazon <laughs> history. Once we get popping, they go back Just on go the, to the store. Nah. You should. If you were a real friend, you'd buy it for him. Nah. What the fuck I look like <laughs> a good friend. Why can't you be a good friend and then buy him a pocket pussy? <laughs> I got a question for y'all. Uh, when y'all eat pussy, do y'all put your your feet in the air? Whoa, no, nah, that's sus. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, hold on, I'm like trying to picture. This. <laughs> you do you put your feet in the air when you're laying down? What are you like? like doing a handstand? Like Superman or something? <laughs> no, nah, not nah, like um, like laying on your stomach. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nah. <laughs> That's how you eat in the pocket pussy. What Looking made like you a, think of that? You're talking about eating the pocket pussy what on the a, bed. What are you sticking your feet in the air have to do anything with it? Have you ever ate pussy while you're laying down on a bed? Yeah. Looking like but, Pulp Fiction cover? But, but, instead you're like, <laughs> but, instead, <laughs> but instead you have your feet up in the air? Like, like, you're like, like Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Or you just let your legs dangle off the like bed? <laughs> no, I know. I, I know what you're... Like... What made you think of that? Eating pussy on the, on the fucking bed. Uh, all right. You've never had to fuck on a small bed. No, but yeah, but I, I just like. What made I? Don't, I just didn't think about how your legs would be positioned. I don't know all what right. to tell you. All right, we're done. You gotta eat more <laughs> pussy. Oh, it's one. Just to have my legs kick up in the air. No, I was just asking a question as a joke. Because we were talking about eating pocket pussies on the bed. All right, well, I'm Whatever, lost. we're done. I'm lost. <laughs> That's a common theme this episode. <laughs> uh, anyway, make sure you follow us everywhere at Neapolitan Podcast. Subscribe. Uh, support our Patreon. Uh, go buy our cereal. We don't make a dime off of that cereal. Not yet. It's coming. Can I eat this shit now? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> and on that note... Don't kill us. <laughs>